starting to pick up a bit now, but it's uh, going in the right direction at least. We're going to camp down uh, down yonder. Packing light as usual. Didn't get a small stove, I think. Little backpacking stove. I've uh, loaded the bolt in a bit of a rush, so it's not how I would normally do it or like it, but it is what it is. Time to set off, guys. memory the last time I camped here there's a bit of a clearing here oh yeah there we go lovely it was a bit of a last minute trip so we've just gone to uh, Lock Ken which I've been before it was um, first place first place ever did a canoe camp and we've paddled back to the spot where we stayed Nice big flat clearing. I'm gonna get the hot tent set up there. I think Sean's gonna uh, hide under this tree. On the go. A water bottle in here as well, somewhere. Good. I'm going to cook it away nicely there. Good job with the fire, mate. Smell nice. A bit of faffing, but we've got sea bass with tender stem broccoli, new potatoes, pesto, and balsamic glaze. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Morning time, uh, it rained quite a lot during the night. I always thought this tent uh, just got bad condensation, but it turns out it's leaking at the seams, literally. <laughs> so let me speak to Pamoli after the weekend. Yeah, it's time to get up now and uh, get Brecky on, pack down.
Took us about 10 hours to get packed down. Finally just getting on the water now, eventually. So I can put my finger out. Yay. back to where the car's parked we're going to uh, get rid of the tent stove and the accessories because as nice as it was last night it's, it's just it's just a lot of faff and it takes, it takes time to set up and take it down. Uh, Sean's on the other bank over there. See him in the middle there. He's just going to cross over now. Trying to find a campsite for uh, tonight, but there's not really much down this side of the lock, and we're paddling to a headwind, so stops have some pasta. Waiting for Sean to come back. Paddle to the other end of the lock. Um, couldn't find any any spots to camp, and there's a few decent flat pot spots, but it's going to be like 45, 50 mile an hour uh, winds tonight, so I didn't fancy a few of them. Um, and then some of the other ones that were all right were all boggy. So we're trying to paddle back now to where we camped last night and um, get set up before it goes too dark, hopefully. Just got to the spot we uh, stopped at last night. I'm not going to film this now because um, it's going dark soon. So I'll hopefully film a bit when once uh, we're all set up. Lovely. Got a tarp all in with... Uh, over the back of the canoe. The canoe is uh, acting as a windbreak at the moment. Um, gonna chill out here tonight, cook up some food, uh, a few drinks, uh, get our words down. I'll um, try and walk you around it in the morning, give you a proper look at it. Bit hard to see at the moment. Chili and rice to tea. Let me get the rice on first. The, uh, Rice is on the go. Morning. Woke a couple of times in the night, um, but was pretty warm. Um, is it drier in here?
it had been in that Bamali tent that was leaking anyway. <laughs> and you're waking, you're waking up to these views. Show you around the shelter. It was a bit dark last night when we set up. We got the tarp uh, with the canoe as part of the part of the shelter. Um, propped up there with a stick. Normally they'd have it down the back, but uh, could barely get the pegs in, so we've ended up using a ridge line. But it worked well. Bacon sausage bound again this morning. Pack down and set. Oh yeah. <laughs> to go loose that now. It's had, it's had a couple of knocks. Right. Yeah, bit of snow and ice on the hills in the background this morning. Thanks for watching, see you again.